India and Vietnam, plastic waste is a huge problem and one contributor is disposable menstrual products. One woman is estimated to use around 11,000 feminine hygiene products during her lifetime. Green Lady Cloth Pad thinks that by teaching women about feminine hygiene and introducing them to reusable pads, they can reduce the amount of waste going into landfills. Green Lady working on environment and women empowerment through three main activities, in introducing cloth pads, organizing Green Living workshop, and offering educational program about menstruation. So today, you should wear a new jean that looks more modern. Green Lady Cambodia, young Green Lady Cambodia, Kala modern, is the new style that we are using to promote school connection. Lang mao đập bay ở chia chung rưỡi, nó sẽ lấy có đôi chia ở đập bay tàn than, có đôi chia đập bay ở ca sửa xong sửa cháy hay là việc đôi chia spin muối ngon mà dưng từ school ở vậy tới đại chia à chia cam bảy tò. Green Lady has convinced local women to try out cloth pads. They have already sold over 500 of the eco-friendly product in Vietnam and Cambodia. I made a proud with the bowl. Looking ahead, Green Lady plans on getting into green business to make an even larger impact in their community. In the future of Green Lady Vietnam, in a set of production products by using this lovely organic growth and good high standard of production, also have an insight for creating products for this authentic women and giving educational training for community. We believe that with the respect to the body and essential healthcare knowledge, any girl and women can live their own sustainable living lifestyle. Many conflict-prone areas in Southeast Asia also suffer from natural disasters. In combination, these issues can escalate humanitarian crises. The founders of Young Peace Builders for Climate Action believe that natural disasters and violence need to be in the same conversation and that the youth should be central to peace building process. That's why they created a five-day workshop to raise awareness and build capacity. Over 1,100 people across ASEAN applied. I joined this program because I have foreseen the need of empowerment of the young people from our community in preparing and equipping them skills that are necessary in surviving disastrous events. Really interesting is uh, the topic of the conference about climate change and about people because I think that there is two pillars in uh, the same topic and it's really affected all the country in the region. At the workshop this August in Quezon City, the 25 selected attendees gained skills and knowledge they needed to take action in their communities. This included hearing from experts in the field, like representatives from the United Nations and the U.S. Embassy in the Philippines. To really be peace education practitioners, you don't need an education degree, by the way. Um, that's why we conduct a lot of um, training workshops so that we can develop more young people like you. The workshop also included field visits, like to the Quezon City Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, to learn firsthand from local practitioners. To wrap up, all fellows presented project pitches to put their ideas into action through micrograd funding. This included a first aid program for the victims of the conflict in Mindanao, Philippines. By bringing together youth from around the region, YPCA fellows have formed lasting friendships and hopefully the long-term ability to work together across the region. Thanks everybody for making this time such a wonderful time and very uh, knowledgeable, informative and entertaining. I don't know if I would be this happy without you guys. Thank you very much. What I want to do when I come back to Cambodia is the fact that I will uh, share my knowledge. I'm committed to be a mentor for disaster risk reduction. I also want to 
be a part to create or make a better change in my community as well. I will bring for the experience and what I've learned here to share through my social media blogs and through my friends or family around me. Documentary filmmaking brings stories that might otherwise not be told to the general public. By training and enabling young filmmakers in Southeast Asia, Ecomentary aims to raise awareness for environmental issues in the region. By participating in this contest, we do hope that our video can reach to as many people as it can. Ecomentary is a great opportunity for us to take actions and contribute our small efforts to biodiversity conservation. We learn a lot about the documentary film, how to take the footage properly, the, inter the interview technique. And since we're getting more technical, I'm really confused what which video mode I should use when shooting. Oh, uh, the NTSC and the PAL? Yeah. That depends on the country. You can tell one story in so many different ways. The participants also practiced filmmaking skills, including creating 90-second public service announcements. The teams who attended the workshop will now be given money to create a longer documentary about an environmental issue. We hope from this film, we can give information to the public and we can, we can be a motivation to protect the environment. 